yes, I've got the same t-shirt on because I feel like I'm going to ramble a bit today and I'm doing two videos, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? Today, I am incredibly excited because we are going to be looking at a channel that I haven't reviewed in ages. I'm talking maximum months, mate, or probably weeks, maybe months, whatever, right? The channel is King Frostmare. Make sure you go to the channel, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? We are looking at the scariest videos forbidden by police, the popo. The fireball says freeze, mother chucker, right? I hope they're freaky deaky. If it's King Frostmare, mate, they're going to be, all right? So he says, today we explore the scariest videos that are forbidden. Ghosts, ghost hunters, poltergeists, and general paranormal activity all caught on camera. We analyze mysterious and explainable events that fans we have caught on that, that fans have caught on tape. Mysterious events are getting caught on tape all around the world. Are they really? Are they freaky deaky? We'll find out today. Without further ado, Dardilly Day. Let's do this. Hello, Go on, King Frostman. Tonight it is time hey, to watch. Good to hear your voice, mate. Some very scary videos that you should never watch alone. <sighs> now we want to follow an urban explorer who traveled to a supposedly haunted shrine in the middle of the night. She heard a lot of creepy ghost stories about this place, and ever so often, these ghosts can apparently be seen. But he didn't fully believe in these tales, but nevertheless wanted to document his nightly visit. At some point he notices a garbage bag which is placed on the stairs to the entrance. And then there is a weird noise. There's somebody in the bag. What? What? I just heard something! What? Something creepy was peeking out from behind the tree. Hey. Some people commented that this oh. could... Oh, look at you. Why do freaky bastards have their mouths open? What's all that about, you mouth-breathing bastard? Right? Why? Huh? Breathe through your nose. Could be one of the evil spirits that is said to roam the area. Oh. Could this be? Oh, my it God. It certainly doesn't look... Oh. God, that's horrible, mate. Look human. Thank God the explorer didn't notice it. Only after rewatching the footage at home. What, what's happened to you, mate? Your eye sockets. Maximum no sleep, please. See the eye sockets all indented. Polar guys. The following videos were shared by Tristan, who seems to be dealing with some otherworldly activity in his very own home. He notices that a lot of his personal items were moved around, and doors open and close on their own, and even his chairs travel by themselves. This is why he decided to place some stationary cameras to record these strange happenings. Mm. Do you see the shadowy figure moving there? Oh it left yeah! Left Tristan pretty startled. And it appears that the activity worsened after this. Now these forces were also playing with the electricity in his home. Oh, mate, it's like that, that film lights out, isn't it? And even unseen forces oh. that were trying to enter closed doors within his house. I'm sure ghosts don't have oppo opposable thumbs. They're just all fingers trying to open shit up. Because they have, they've got proper problems opening doors, mate, I'll tell you. Just knock! Cool, mate, round a bit. Oh, mate, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right? 
It's Gordon Ramsay this shit. Come on! What are you doing? Do you see the maximum clip? Darkness. To light. Within an instant. Bang. The, not the clip, the cut. I mean, the cut. Not having that one, mate. Not having that one. Or am I? <laughs> Here he seems to have captured this transparent shadow being once more, although hardly noticeable. It seems to be moving around in the other room. Oh, what is that? What is going on there? Oh, no, I'm looking at the red shit, mate. That's more freaking what's going on over here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Nivea for men. What? Nobody was home at the time. One night he was watching TV with his girlfriend and his dog when the activity scared everybody. Oh shit! Mate, was that... Did, did that comb just go straight out of your bloody hand? Am I seeing two totally different videos here? I don't actually think that is it. I, I, I thought I saw the comb just flick out of her hand. It is unclear if the activity is still going on, but it's safe to say that the couple oh. doesn't feel safe anymore at this point. Hmm, okay. All right, you sort of lost me, you lo lost me midway, okay, with the door, the clip, going from darkness to like door open and bright. And then I came back. Side of the road. The following clip was recorded by the dashcam of Pedro, who was out this night to deliver some goods. His colleagues swear to have seen weird things on that particular stretch of road. And it would appear that Pedro himself could catch a glimpse of that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think I've seen this one before, but look at the state of you! Who are you? Oh, she's like, oh, fucking hello. Hello. I got five kids. I got five kids to feed. You said you had two. <laughs> you noticed what appeared to be Look a Look at your woman. finger. The fingers of death. Look at the fingers on it, mate. Imagine playing thumb of war with you. Sitting on the right side of the road, she doesn't look human at all, and I find that her fingers in particular are looking extremely creepy. Pedro Jesus. saw this with his own eyes at the time and decided against stopping to see who this exactly was. But it is said that this might have been something otherworldly that was oh. greeting this oncoming truck. Spooky. Yeah. I could just imagine you with like really greasy comb over hair just lurking this video was captured by two contractors who were hired for a job at the following apartment building and they were getting out and preparing their work when one of them captured something rather creepy oh this is gonna freak me out this is gonna freak me out I can feel it I can sense it I can bloody sense it mate Oh god, just give me a face! I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it.
Okay, you. Okay, you. I'll get you, Butler. Maximum enhancement, please. Nobody has any explanation as of what this thing is. We need an or enhancement. What it could mean. We need an enhancement. There's a bit. Oh. Was it a spirit? A demon? Or what else? The hell? Oh, mate. That looks like the same one that's behind the tree. But ah. Ah, probably. These are pretty good, mate. These are pretty good. The video was captured by two young friends who were driving on a road in the fields that was owned by one of their family members. They do this ever so often when hanging out on the weekends. Tonight was a bit strange, however, because they thought to have seen something in the distance and kept driving towards it. What are those? What? What? Why does it look like they have heads? What? Bro! Bro, that's, that's actually people! What? Bro! What's people? What? These things here? What, what are we talking about? Please just get out of here, dude. It's quite strange how several pairs of what appears to be torsos dressed in white can be seen. Like oh god, there's, a, there's these weirdos again, isn't it? Get a job, man. Get a job, right? Get a hobby. Start painting. Start singing. Don't hang out in fields wearing white capes and shit, mate. Fucking losers. And up next to each other, it's so weird. the two believed that this perhaps had been a cult that how was trespassing, you, and maybe even how do you even how do you even get your mates to do that? Imagine going up to your mate now and going, "Hey, buddy, I know I've known you for like ten years, but do you know what I do on Thursdays?" No, I mean you should do it. What? I I, I go in the forest. What do you do in the forest? Um. We dress up in white capes and um, we sort of like sing together, you know? Now, honestly, we, we don't like sacrifice too many animals. Performing some form of ritual. But if that's not the case, what could we be looking at here exactly? Pretty creepy encounter though, that's for sure. Mate, so weird. The new owl. This video was uploaded by Chubby Gooby, who states that she moved in. She doesn't look that chubby. <laughs> Two new residents with her husband and their cats. They noticed some really strange things going on, and this is when Chubby started a video uh, diary. I'm not really sure what to do about this. Um, just watch and let me know what you think at the end. In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Look at Garfield down there, look. Jeez Louise. You sure the chubby's not the cat? My cat never comes up to me like this unless she wants food. So that might have been what it was, but she was acting particularly weird. Even her cats started to act pretty weird. At least that is how she explains it. Our cat just walked away from me and I felt like she knew it was coming. Did hang on, did the television just say what the fuck just happened? Listen. Listen again. What's that the television? Was that like her boyfriend in the kitchen or something? Hello? Oh! It slowly wow. started to escalate when more noticeable activity unfolded in their home. Another night, they got woken up by loud noises okay, from- Okay, so it did sound like him. The basement. We don't have any explanation for it. Like I said last time, we don't record anything. 
I think your boyfriend's possessed, love. You can explain that. Explain my tired. Yeah, exactly. Why aren't you going down there first, mate? I think you're exaggerating. Look, it's a basement. Oh, I've seen this one. She's in like a really short t-shirt. And I don't know why I remember that, okay? But I'm sh pretty sure she is. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Okay, we need to go. 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 Go oh, where? Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Gee, oh! Go, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. The two believe Shit. that something evil is lingering in their home. Another night. Well, first of all. You made a mistake there, right? Whoever that is, don't have your bare feet hanging out of the bed, mate. Socks at least for protection, okay? all coming back to me now. I was fully asleep at this point and I was trying to wake up. It's all coming back to me now. Hey, this is, uh, this is an oldie. This is a goldie oldie. <laughs> it looks like a bin. Hello, I'm, I'm possessed. We were both half asleep at this point, and I don't really remember what happened exactly. I just it's heard freaky. a sound. It wasn't until we watched the video. And if all of this hasn't been staged, maybe they are right. Mm. I don't know, mate. I, I don't know. There is, there is a few things about that one. I remember seeing it for the first time. I was a little bit dubious about it, you know? Yeah, it was like her, he wasn't meeting the same energy as her, <laughs> you know, he didn't go down first, right, which, yeah, okay. Yeah, respect for the woman to Rambo it, okay, but I, I don't know, I don't know. It's still here. Now we are back at the home of Father Win MC Picks, who's documenting the haunting in the home of his family for He's over playing up Christ ma maximum rage that game. For a year now. At this point, Win believes that the ghost of a young boy has followed him even to his daily job site, and Ooh. he's seeing strange occurrences almost on the daily now. It's cold right here. Oh, mate, we're going to see a little ghost child. Hello? We're going to see a ghost child. I can feel it. Going up there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey? Definitely not going back Did here. you hear that? Shush. I'm not going up there. Definitely not going Why? back here. Wow! Oh wow, it, it is really cold right here. What was that? Oh! Oh god, it is a ghost bastard child! Yes, Aliantos! 
I mean, oh. it, it, I'm sorry, but this is fake as fuck, but it's freaky as shit. Go away. I don't think it's happy we're here. Or is it effing fate? Oh. Come here, come here! Happy we're here. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if I was hearing voices like that, I'd be straight to the docks, mate. Right? The doctors. Saying, mate, I'm hearing voices. Sort me out. Yeah? Get some extra vitamin C down you or something. Oh. Hey! Oh. That's a Leantos yeah, right in the fucking ear, uh -oh. mate. I'm like, fuck! Only could he hear demonic noises in the building that day, but there was the silhouette of a creepy shadow figure Ooh. lurking in the corner oh, in mate, one of the rooms, evidently moves. staring at Wynne. Creepy for sure. And a few nights after that, Wynne has captured more of the activity that today followed him back into his own house. I'm playing only up in my office. Only up. That's Something it. keeps passing by this window. I'm Oh, mate, I think I've seen loads of these ones. But they're good to revisit. If you're walking by my office, I want you to knock it off. Oh, oh shit, man. Is that you making all that noise back there? This thing's always closing doors. But is, is he not hearing these demonic voices, right? I mean, I'm different to most people out there. I'm a different breed, okay? If I hear stuff like that, I just ramble it. And I'd be like, I'd, be, I'd, I'd laugh at it. I'd be like, <laughs> whatever, mate. But most people would freak right out, yeah? They'd be like, motherfucker, I'm Gahan, I'm Gahan, on the first, like, hello? You need to get out. Dude. Will you knock it off, please? Oh shit! You gotta get out. You're you're gonna lock yourself in the laundry room again. You're not leaving. You're not gonna. Turn the noises oh, sound pretty similar to what could be heard in the other building, making it almost certain that he is dealing with the same entity here. See how it is walking towards the door and then closing it? Pretty creepy, I would say. Pretty, pretty, pretty creepy, yes. Yeah. Imagine seeing that in, in real life, legit, seeing Let's that. Let's see how this case will develop in the future. <sighs> creepy shadow. This was shared by Charity Lewis and it features This looks straight from a movie. I'm sorry, but this looks straight from a movie. It's, her it's, even, it's even fucking colour corrected. Daughter with a toy camera. She's talking a about toy her camera? day and is basically just recording a little conversation she seems to be having with her dolls. However, at some point, the young girl leaves the room and then something strange is being captured. Okay. Uh, ice cream that doll. Day. That doll. And, and That doll's gonna move. What's she looking at? She's gonna get dragged! She's gonna get dragged. Her face is gonna go fucking green. Oh man, that's freaky. Maximum Slender Man, please! Notice how a dark shadow object is popping by the entrance. No, King Frostmare, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. We later learn that nobody was in the room anymore, which makes us question what was captured here. 
Was it a shadow being, therefore a paranormal that? incident? Pretty eerie for sure, and the family has also no idea as of what had happened here. Oh, well, that's weird, mate. That's, oh, I don't know. That's strange. Not from this world. Now we want to look at the case of Francisco, who started to become a victim of something that would send shivers down anyone's spine. After moving into a new house, it became evident that an evil entity seemed to be dwelling in there. It's late at night and Francisco begins to hear strange noises outside of his room. And this is where this recording begins. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. Estoy solo en casa. Me voy a duchar. Mi voy a duchar. Mi voy a duchar. ¿Qué coño? Oh, wow. All of a sudden, the curtain starts to move, indicating that someone might be behind it. However, in that very instant, the curtain falls, only to reveal that there was nothing and no one behind it. Oh, what? And this was just the beginning. A few days after, it escalated even more. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mi casa no su casa. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Hola. It started to move objects around the house now and was even able to open and close doors by itself. Not a good sign to be honest. Activated paranormal. <laughs> May, listen to this demonic. Listen. Oh, May. Hola. Shush. Coño. Soy un niño. Oh. sudden the cries of a child started to be present in his house and if that wasn't <sighs> creepy enough they seemed to be stemming right out of Francisco's bedroom oh man
Francisco was so concerned that he even started contacting a local <laughs> priest, and they exchanged messages about how to deal with this particular haunting in his home. The priest told him that this was a pretty dangerous situation, and that it sounded like the entity had attached itself to him. And unfortunately, there wasn't much the priest could do for him. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! I'm in, I'm in a, a terrible situation here. I, I, I think there's an entity in my house. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds like uh, definitely an entity in your house, mate. Um, seems like it's attached to you. Can't do anything about it. Bye, good luck. Yeah, cheers, mate. And the following happened only a night after. Oh, look at you! At Get a suntan, for God's sake! Get a suntan! You grey little bastard! The oh. hand was visible at the edge of the curtain, and it appears that Francisco had managed to capture how it materialized, providing further evidence that what inhabited the house was completely real. Perhaps even what demonic. The to hell? this day, Francisco. Minimum Menelin, please! Francisco doesn't fully know what this thing is or what it wants from him, and the case is still ongoing. The Weird Eye. This was captured by a man who was documenting his reptiles and his tarantulas. And whilst doing so, he captured something quite strange that he couldn't explain. What? Is that thing swallowed a glow stick or something? What? What? Oh my god! What the hell? A weird eyeball was captured here, and it didn't know how this was possible, if this was something otherworldly or just a weird glitch. It's really hard to say. What is your explanation? I don't know, but I was looking at something totally different. Cave of Terror. I'm sure that some of you have heard about Frank the Caver and his channel exploring abandoned mines in unusual places. He's quite famous for his ghostly encounter in the Horton Mine. And it all started with him exploring this old ore mine, when all of a sudden some ghostly activity unfolded. Mate, this is really like, like I think this one's quite legit. I've seen this one before. I've seen a lot of these ones, but this one, I, I, this is quite legit, I reckon. Something weird's going on. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. The Dungeon of Death! see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm going to head back out and check out the other stuff that's Why here. Is this that is just chain? too wet, too muddy. Um, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing. So Chains that were moving completely on their own. It made Frank uneasy and he wanted yeah. to find out more about this mysterious cave. So he returned a few weeks later and after another tour through the abandoned cave, captured some more inexplicable stuff. There's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and um, what the f is that? Oh! The radio! The footage had been analyzed and nobody could come up with an explanation of what happened there that day. And Frank swears that he never faked anything 
and even the experts think that nobody had tampered with the material. But it yeah, because apparently, like, his whole channel is just le legit just exploring caves, you know? It was not the only cave where Frank could capture terrifying sounds. One evening, he checked out another abandoned mine in Nevada, where many believe he came across some ghostly voices from beyond the grave. Ooh. Almost a foot in diameter. The big cross timber, so... We yeah. had to put big ones in here to hold up... Listen. ...all of this rock. You can see right here where, where some of these boards are bending. Do you hear that? Yeah. Mate, I'm sorry, but this is the most freakiest video because it just doesn't seem fake. And the the idea, the thought of hearing this is just gut-turning. Listen, you can hear it just about. Sounds like... Uh... What, is that wind? Listen! Can you, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Do you hear that? It's just stopped. Stopped. Well, fuck that. I don't mate. know what that is. That doesn't sound like wind, but that's crazy. Fuck that. I'll be. I, I, I would be Rambo in it, but most people be fucking running out of there, mate. Don't know if that's a bird. Or... A bird? I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like snakes, but... Isn't that simply terrifying? Yeah. Even more impressive is what he could come up with in the Black Widow mine. Okay. I came across this noose here in the intersection in the mine tunnel going that way and that way and then here's the noose tied to a beam way up there it seems pretty low I gotta be honest are we getting a glimpse of an unidentified oh. creature person or entity watching Frank this footage also never has been fully explained but his fans are sure that something was lurking at our brave explorer here and then vanishing into the pitch black oh, cave tunnels. Oh, mate. Yeah, I think he was onto something there, mate. It's in my home. The next video was shared by a young man who reports that after a Ouija board session with his friends, really strange occurrences started to unfold in the home of his family. Don't do his Ouija parents boards. are out of the house pretty regularly. And for whatever reason, the scariest encounters seem to unfold whenever the young man is staying alone in the house. People speculate that he might have opened a portal into a dark realm. Mm. The following was recorded one night, shortly before the man had planned to go to bed. Keep. Keep. Oh no! It's not you, is it? It's not fucking you, is it? Game! Steve, this is your mom. I promise. Me. Oh God! Fucking hell! Oh. It's your mom. It fucking isn't. You come out. You've been there for so long. Fucking no! 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 Oh my God! F you, bitch! Then what's your name? Oh God! Did you hear that little bit? You should come out. You should, Steve. Steve, it's your mother. You should come out. A little aggression where she's getting pissed off of it now. Listen, listen. Steve, it's your mother. You should come out. Then what's your name then?
It is pretty unclear what exactly is roaming in this house. Many believe, though, that a demon might be trying to lure him out of his room in order to engage in a possession. Could this be the case? Who can say? Oh, damn, damn, damn. Right there you go. There are some freaky deaky videos right there. I hope you liked it and I hope you come back and see another one. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.